I think the best one for electricians is the magic. I use the rule of three for so much. If you want to learn anything in this trade, find a way of breaking it into three. And I think the one thing that stood out for me the most when I was on the tools was there were three rules that I was never taught in college. And every time I go to a college, I always say to them, have you heard the three unwritten rules of construction? And you get to see a numb faces. And I've always said, it's a really simple rule of three. One, never question or mess with another man's money. Two, never talk about or offend another man's family. And three, never touch another man's tools. You want to talk about health and well-being like we were discussing at the start? Those are three golden rules that everyone in the trade should remember. Because if you stick with them, you won't get a bit of conduit around the back of your head. Uh, You won't get in a fight. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, And I have seen people not doing that on major sites where I have watched blokes literally walk into a room and there's been a guy who was showing a picture of his... This Okay, I'm showing my age now. He was showing guys a picture of his wife in his wallet and he did the most offensive thing ever. And this guy stood up like he was Superman and then he drove this guy's head through the ceiling, punching him and it all kicked off. And I was like, yeah, kind of inevitable, really. Didn't follow rule too, but... Well, that's the best advice. What about the worst advice you've ever had or heard or received? Don't take that contract. Mm. That was the worst advice I would ever received. Years ago, I was offered a contract, which I was young, I was keen. I really impressed the client when I was contracting. And basically the client in them days turned around and said, do you want this contract? It's like three, four million quid. Um, and I thought, I can make a fortune. This This could make me. And I went around asking for advice and somebody said, don't take that contract. And yet thinking back now, Oh my God, it it would literally, yeah, I, yeah, it would have changed my life. Are you still talking to that person? Um, now and again, we do actually speak. Okay, yeah, right? he's, he's a, a lovely chap, always good in, good, good intention, always, you always listen to your peers at the time. I was a younger man, he was an elder, he had more wisdom than me, but he was reflecting what he would do rather than analyzing mm. pros and cons. Um, that would have changed the entire direction of my life because I probably have my own company now. Mm.